Hi everybody. All right, so this is a problem on how to sketch the graph of an exponential function on Math Excel. The problem says, sketch the graph of the function, state the domain and the range, and determine whether the function is increasing or decreasing. The function is f of x is equal to 6 raised to the x power. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go right over here to the left hand side where it says click to enlarge graph. Okay, let's click inside this little box. And we have a window that pops up. This window now says click the graph, choose a tool in the palette, and follow the instructions to create your graph. Okay? So I don't think I have to click right on the graph just yet. What I do have to click on is over here. I'm either going to have to use this curve or this curve. Now if you notice here, the first curve says a logarithm tool. We're not graphing a logarithmic function, we're graphing an exponential function. So we're going to want to use the second curve that says exponential tool. Let's click on that and now we're going to make sure here that the solid line is chosen or clicked on. Right? You do not want to choose the dash line, we want the solid one. Okay, so that's already shaded or looks like it was already clicked. The instructions now say Click the curve to plot, I'm sorry, click the graph to plot your curve. So let's go here and click anywhere on the graph. Now it says use the given interactions to edit the selected curve. So recall that our function was f of x is equal to 6 raised to the x power. The base was 6. If we look down here, it says base and then there's an E. You're going to want to click inside that box. I'm going to hit the backspace button and then I'm going to press 6 so that it reflects that my base is now a 6. Now there's some options here. So it has the option for vertical stretch, horizontal stretch, vertical shift, horizontal shift and then reflect over x-axis or reflect over y-axis. So the vertical stretch and the horizontal stretch, those both have to be right on one because if you look at your given equation, there is nothing being multiplied in front of the 6x, I'm sorry, 6 to the x power. So we are going to want to make sure it's exactly on one. Now the problem here is if you're just using your mouse, it skips, it seems to skip, oh wait, I got it to land right on one. <laughs> That's amazing. I tried doing this before and it didn't work. It, I land, I was able to move it very carefully to land right on one. Now earlier, I was having trouble doing this. So let's say for instance, you're doing this and you, you can't get it to land right on the 1.0. Let's say you're on the 90 then as you're holding down on your left, um, how can I say this, the, on your mouse, on the left button, your left clicker key, you're going to want to use, hold on to that and click the right arrow on your keyboard and it will move over. All right, if you, for some reason, you don't have a steady hand and you can't get it to land right on the one, that's what you're gonna to wanna to do for both of these. All right, for the vertical stretch, horizontal stretch, they both have to be right on one. The vertical shift. Uh, there is no vertical shift because this is not being moved up or down. We're not adding or subtracting anything at the end of the six to the x power. So I need to make sure it's right on zero. So once again here, I'm having trouble getting it to land right on the zero. So this is a good example here where I can't get it to land on there. I'm trying real hard to get it to land on there using the mouse. It's not working. So I'm going to go as close as I can to zero. And then I'm going to, as I'm holding down on the left clicker key on your mouse, you're going to hit your 
arrow, I'm going to hit the arrow that goes to the right because this is negative 0.1 and I'm thinking on the number line to get to zero I need to go to the right one spot there it lands right exactly where I want it and I'm going to carefully let go go to the horizontal shift this is not being moved horizontally right so we're going to make sure we're going to try to get this really close to the zero there it is I'm going to as I'm holding down on the left clicker key of my mouse I'm going to hit the right arrow button and it lands right on the zero okay it's not being reflected over the x-axis it's not being reflected over the y-axis so everything looks like it's in place I'm gonna hit the close button I'm gonna hit the save button and now my graph is on here okay let's check the answer so now you can click on check answer so that's what I'm gonna do and it says fantastic great click OK and then it takes you to the next part where it's asking you for the domain the domain of this function is going to be all real numbers We can choose any value of X we want to plug in for this exponential function so we're going to click inside the button right here I'm going to use this one and I'm going to um, plug in negative infinity to positive infinity the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity or in other words all real numbers you can choose any number you want to plug in for X let's check the answer okay good well done the range the Y values the Y values that we're allowed to have here they have to be um, values that are greater than zero strictly greater than zero right there's no way we're going to be able to make 6 raised to the x power ever equal 0 so I'm going to do the open interval so make sure you put parentheses from 0 to infinity and there we go check our answer excellent good job okay so it looks like we got all the parts oh no we have one more part I so we have is the function increasing or decreasing select the correct choice below and if necessary fill in the answer boxes to complete your answer uh, this function is increasing it's increasing over the entire interval that it's on so we're going to just put here increasing and I'm going to say the interval here is from negative infinity to positive infinity negative infinity to positive infinity okay good now let's click check answer well done okay so now I believe we are done with the entire problem all right that's it that was it for this problem I hope that helped and I hope you're able to graph all of these exponential functions now on your own